everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be giving you summary of the various system. We are going to be giving you summary of the various system and what this system actually carry out in our body. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button Turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you the summary of 11 different system and what they do in the body. Remember in our elementary biology, we are meant to understand that when similar cells come together, they form what? They form tissue. And when similar tissue come together, they form organ. And when organs come together, they form organ system. So today I'm going to be telling you the function of each system in our body. You see this integumentary system, cardiovascular system, digestive system, respiratory system, urinary system, they are all made up of what? They are made up of similar organs, they are made up of organs coming together to carry out a particular function to ensure that that particular function is going to take place or is taking place in the body. So the first we have here is the integumentary system. What makes up the integumentary system are your skin, your fingernails, they are all part of what? The integumentary system. What do they do? The integumentary system protects the body. You will agree with me that the skin what? The skin protects the body. They receive sensory inputs. While I touch my body, sensory inputs have been taken to the brain. So the integumentary system what? Receive sensory inputs. They help to control temperature and they help in a synthesis of vitamin D. You know that's also the function of the skin. So that is the integumentary system and the general theme. Then the other we have is the cardiovascular system. I know most of us are familiar with the cardiovascular system. Whenever we hear cardio, what comes to our mind is what? The heart. So what does the cardiovascular system do? The cardiovascular system helps to transport blood, nutrients, gases, and waste. The cardiovascular system also helps to defend against diseases. The cardiovascular system helps to control homeostasis. They help to control the balance of the body. They help to ensure that the body is balanced. So you can see the function of the cardiovascular system should not be underrated. Then the other system we have is the digestive system. Most of us are familiar with the digestive system. Whenever you hear digestive system, what should come to your mind is food. So the digestive system has to do with the ingestion of food. That's ingest food. When you eat food, it has to do with the digestion of food. It has to do with the absorption of food. And it also has to do with the elimination of waste. You know through your anus now, waste is being um, taken out of the body. So whenever you hear the digest digestive system, what should come to your mind is what? Injection of food, digestion of food, absorption of food, and also elimination of waste. Then that takes us to the other system, which is the respiratory system. In terms of the respiratory system, the respiratory system has to do with the lungs. The respiratory system has to do with what? It has to do with the lung and its associated organs, such as the bronchus. The respiratory system helps to maintain breathing. Without the respiratory system, it will be difficult for us to breathe effectively well. So the respiratory system helps to what? Maintains breathing. It helps in the exchange of gases, such as your carbon dioxide and your oxygen. Without the respiratory system, that will not be able to take place. Then it also helps to control the pH balance. The respiratory system what? helps to control the pH balance. Then that takes us to the urinary system. What does the urinary system do? The urinary system helps to excrete metabolic waste. 
Without the urinary system, there will be no urine. Without the urinary system, all those waste products, all those metabolic waste, urea and all those things that need to go out of the body, will not go out of the body. So the urinary system has to do with the kidney, your bladder, your urethra, your ureter. So they help to what? Excrete metabolic waste. They help to what? Control fluid balance. Because if those toxic substances are not going out of the body, the fluid balance in our body will be what? Will be depreciated. Then the other is help to control pH balance. So it helps to regulate your pH balance. Then the other system is the nervous system. As we all know, the nervous system has to do with the brain and the accessory organs. So the nervous system helps to receive impulses. Those impulses that are being generated all over the body. The nervous system what receives the impulses. When they receive that impulses, they integrate the impulses. They work on the impulses. The nervous system initiates motor outputs. You know, we have both the sensory nerve and the motor nerve. So the nervous system receives sensory impulses. It integrates it and also helps to initiate what? Motor outputs. Then it helps to coordinate the organ system. Then that takes us to another system, which is the endocrine system. Whenever you hear the endocrine system, what should come to your mind is the hormones, the hormones in the body. So the endocrine system includes your pituitary gland, your, the comprises of your pituitary gland, your thyroid gland, and all that. So that endocrine system, they help to what? Produce hormones. They help to coordinate organ system. They have to what? Coordinate organ system. They help us to respond to stress. They help us to regulate metabolism. And they also help to regulate fluid and pH balance. Then that takes us to the other system, which is the reproductive system. What do our reproductive system do? Our reproductive system produces gametes. We have the male and the female gametes. Then they help to transport those gametes. They don't just only produce those gametes. They also help to what? Transport the gametes. The reproductive system produces sex hormones, such as your estrogen, your testosterone, and all that. Then also matures and give birth to offspring. Without the reproductive system, I will not be alive today. Without the reproductive system, I will not be able to give birth. You can see the reproductive system is what it's been. Then the other system we have here is the muscular system. When you hear the muscular system, what should come to your mind is the muscles. The muscles include both your circular muscles, your longitudinal muscles. What do these muscles do? The muscles help to maintain posture. Without the muscles, I will not be able to stand like this. I will not be able to maintain my good posture. So the muscles help to what? maintain posture. It helps to move the body and internal organs and it also helps to what produce heat then that takes us to the other system which is the lymphatic system this system helps to control fluid balance they absorb fats and they also help to defend against infectious diseases an example of things that makes up your lymphatic system or organs that makes up your lymphatic system are your thymus gland your spleen and also the lymph Nodes. These are the things that makes up what the lymphatic system. Now let's talk about the lymphatic system. What makes up the lymphatic system? The makeup of the lymphatic system includes your lymph node, your spleen, and also your thymus gland. What is the function of this lymphatic system? The lymphatic system helps to control fluid balance. It helps to absorb fats. And it also helps to defend against infectious diseases. Then the last system we have to talk about is the skeletal system. Most people join them together with like musculoskeletal system. That's muscles for the muscle. But skeletal has to do with the bones. So the skeletal system supports the body. It protects body parts. Helps to move the body. Stores mineral. And also produces blood cell that is that for the skeletal system thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to subscribe don't forget
forget to click on the like button. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section. And don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. Thanks and have a wonderful day ahead. See you in our next video.